Our back to school coverage continues. $250 million. That's how much Rhode Island voters approved last November to fix the state's crumbling schools. But as city and towns have begun vying for their piece of the pie, we're learning they're trying to stretch their dollars to go beyond repairs. Some are redesigning the traditional classroom. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie has an in-depth look at the new style of learning motivating it. Well, gone are the days of desks in rows facing the head of the class. No longer is the emphasis on teacher-focused lectures, but on student-centered learning. It's a new way of teaching that demands Rhode Island schools get a new look. Some call it the school of tomorrow. They came right in and they took walls down. But it exists at Forest Avenue School in Middletown today. But I feel like there is more collaboration now than ever before. And that was the goal when the Open Spaced Learning Center was created a decade ago. The first in Rhode Island to accommodate 21st century learning. The most open space we have at times for projects is our hallway space. At Garden City School in Cranston, Principal Brian Byerly says space is the enemy for his teachers who are trying to create collaboration environments. Sometimes it resorts to sitting on a pile of rugs uh, in the closet area. Byerly says it's about students driving their own learning, part of a teaching model known as blended and personalized learning. It's really about meeting kids' needs. It supports the bigger initiative, social emotional learning, launched by former Education Commissioner Ken Wagner in 2013. That's when traditional teacher roles began to shift. Pivoting to be more like a coach who's helping coach students along. Now, the push for the traditional classroom to shift to support that through the $250 million bond approved by voters last fall. Is there a way to gauge whether or not um, investing in spaces like this and teaching in spaces like this makes smarter kids? You know, I think that's really hard to quantify because I think the definition of smarter has changed a little bit. We used to consider smart a score on a SAT or a GPA. But when we talk to businesses and industry right now, smarter people that can solve problems and work together. Why are we educating our children and what do we want to get out of this? Rima Tomka is a mother and former educator with concerns about collaboration-based learning. You lose the individuality of the students um, to be who they are. What was once a byproduct of being a well-educated person is now the focus. So working in a group is more important than, you know, being able to think critically about what you're presented. And while the debate continues, so do the plans to transform. Since this ball got rolling, a new education commissioner has taken the helm. Angelica Infante Green's office says she is supportive of the facility's investment plan so that all students can have access to a 21st century learning environment. In Cranston, Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.